reports that chemical weapons have been used in that conflict. Now, if confirmed, this would be the first time that chemical weapons have been entered into this ongoing civil war, a war that stretches for two years, but which side used it? Now, state-run Syrian news agency claiming that 25 are dead in a rebel chemical attack in northern Syria. That means the government in Damascus is blaming the rebels. Connor Powell working this story live in our Middle East Bureau with more from there. Connor, what can you report? Well, Bill, there's a lot of conflicting information right now coming out of Syria. According to Western intelligence officials, they tell us that unlike the reports that we're hearing right now out of Syria, that in fact it was the Assad regime used some type of chemical weapons on rebels in northern Syria around the Aleppo region. Now, of course, the Assad regime and the Assad state television have said that rebels use those weapons. But what we're hearing right now from Western intelligence officials is just the, the opposite, that in fact it was the Assad regime used some type of chemical weapons and killed somewhere between 15 and 26 people. Again, conflicting reports. We've heard 15. We've also heard uh, 26. So there is a lot of different information right now. But we have confirmed, of course, that there have been some type of chemical weapons being used in Syria. Now, who's used them on exactly which group is still very much uh, unclear right now, Bill. Connor, thank you. It's just one line that's crossing the Associated Press at the moment here. Reuters was reporting on this a bit earlier as well, so we're sorting through this now on our end. Connor, come back when you have more. Thanks from Jerusalem there, Martha. Our thanks to him. Uh, and this is breaking news right now. We want to bring in Ambassador John Bolton and get his reaction to this. You heard uh, what Connor Powell just told us. What do you think, Ambassador? Well, I don't take anything the Assad regime says at face value. So when they claim the rebels used chemical weapons, uh, it's just as likely as he reported that it was the regime that used chemical weapons and is blaming it on the rebels. But I don't think it's impossible that the uh, rebels could get hold of chemical weapons. We don't know where all of the regime's arsenals were. It's possible some fell into the opposition hands. Uh, but whoever used chemical weapons, if in fact that's verified, that would be a significant change uh, in this conflict. And it would underline both the risk to civilians of either side using chemical weapons in the Syrian conflict or uh, that those weapons could fall into hands that take them out of Syria for mm -hmm. use by terrorists around the world. And that should be a, a top American priority, preventing that from happening. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that earlier in this conflict, uh, the administration here basically said that that was something of a red line, you know, that, that they were discouraging uh, any use of chemical weapons, but that that would change uh, the, this game, so to speak. Yeah, well, red lines come and go for the Obama administration. We'll see. I think, obviously, we need uh, hard facts here as to exactly what's going on. Uh, I think it's difficult to affect the use of chemical weapons inside uh, Syria directly uh, because you're talking about very close circumstances, regime, civilians, opposition, uh, hard to get in the middle of that. But, but it certainly should underline to us the risk that these weapons could come loose, fall into the hands of terrorists or regime officials who would sell them to terrorists and, and get out of the country. I mean, we know how hard it has been uh, to get good reports out of Syria. It's obviously a such a danger zone at this point. What do you think the likelihood and how soon will we get a good handle on what really happened here and perhaps see evidence of these chemical weapons being used? Well, I'm sure that tracking these weapons is already a high priority for our intelligence. It now needs to be, I think, a higher priority in light of these reports. Uh, at and finding out where where the weapons may have been moved to, whether other units of the Syrian army or the opposition may be prepared to use them, but certainly on absolute high alert uh, on the borders and exit points from Syria to make sure that none of these weapons are, are getting outside the country. Uh, well, uh, thanks uh, for your reaction to this uh, breaking news. And we also want to get your thoughts on the other story that we originally brought you on here to talk about this morning, and that is this bombshell.